Hello everyone, I'm uh, Luca and uh, I started uh, working at Dusk very recently uh, as a developer relation engineer and uh, really happy uh, as uh, uh, it's, uh, I think Dusk is full of interesting technology and uh, this is a great way to learn about it. So uh, where I can bring also my knowledge about developer relations that I developed during the years. So uh, I started working in uh, Hyperloop uh, transportation technologies for a um, SSI project uh, that was based on blockchain. And then I got into the Barcelona Supercomputing Center for a few months working on uh, research, uh, the different um, and, and benchmarking like the um, performances of Ethereum 2 clients. And uh, then I started working as a developer relation engineer uh, in a few organizations that use the Cosmos SDK. And, uh, and in general, I that has been the, the work I've been doing for the last uh, two and a half years, more or less. And, uh, and yeah, it has been a great journey so far. And uh, in general, I've been uh, working on uh, a set of things as uh, the developer relations, its uh, task is quite broad as um, like there is a need for developer documentation as the same as educational pieces and for technical content uh, around the whole tech stack that the technology is built upon. Uh, I've been working closely with the business developer uh, development teams uh, on making sure that uh, third parties and partners could integrate with uh, with the stack. So in general, I've been triaging all uh, the requests from partners and also helping uh, with with integration, making sure that the developer's journey was as smooth as possible, and as well as kicking off uh, the developers' initiatives so that they could give feedback and uh, this feedback could be escalated to the engineering teams in a way that was order enough and clear enough and uh, that developers would actually get what they needed and uh, and yeah of course like working on developer documentations and tutorials and screencasts and, and all these kind of things developer relations it's kind of a hybrid role uh, which uh, depending on the organization you are in it can vary quite a bit so but i would say at the end of the day it's um, a mix between uh, different uh, uh, different things that needs to happen in general and uh, it's uh, making sure that the developers journey is as smooth as possible so uh, that developers are educated on the use cases of the technology itself and how to use it and why that matters and what are the tooling available out there and make sure that all the developers that want to learn about it have the smoothest journey to do that so like providing technical uh, documentation content tutorials and also making sure to organize workshops hackathons and all this kind of stuff so uh, in general developer relations it's it's a role that is focused on uh, making sure that there is a blossoming community of developers that use the uh, open source software that uh, is provided and uh, that they can contribute also to that software and making sure that also their voices are heard when it comes to supporting new features or providing new handpoints and all this kind of also tooling that uh, developers ask when uh, when they need to uh, develop their their applications and uh, at the same time it's also a role that works strictly with the business development team because uh, um, developers are not necessarily only uh, community developers that are also the de uh, developers of third-party uh, applications that needs to be integrated into a specific tech stack and so like there is also a lot of uh, support to the business development team uh, side of things so to make sure that they are educated about the most relevant pieces of infrastructure that a specific technology provides and at the same time that they are uh, supported in answering technical questions and they can rely on some engineering knowledge uh, without necessarily talking with the engineers that are developing the code base. So developer relations act as a kind of a intermediary uh, between uh, 
the conversation flow about technical topics between uh, engineers that actually build the tech and the tools and uh, uh, other teams that are actually need to push those tools for developers to use. Uh, developer relations, it's, uh, it's uh, really a key role for companies, especially in Web3 or blockchain. And, and the reason for this is that the technology evolves so fast and there are so different uh, tech stacks that developers can use that unless they are highly educated on uh, which one uh, should they use for their specific use case and how to use that, then uh, it's uh, really tough for an organization to make sure that uh, the, the technology that they provide is actually used. And uh, the reason being is that there is, in general, a steep learning curve to, to uh, deploy applications in uh, that rely on uh, on important cryptography. And, uh, and so developer relations, it's really important to make sure that uh, First, uh, uh, it is understood what the tech stack provides, and also it is understood on how to use it. And uh, so, yeah, this is the reason uh, developer relations is so important, especially in this uh, uh, very fast changing world of, of, of tech uh, development in cryptography. So I love Dusk, <laughs> actually, and uh, because I, I've been, uh, uh, introduced to to this technology uh, as far like back in 2018, uh, and uh, during a conference in Barcelona, and after that I I always kept it on on my radar to see how the the organization and the project evolved, and I always felt the organization act in a very uh, consistent way, uh, always building. Uh, relevant technology for what the use case that they were targeting was, uh, the dusk is targeting, and uh, without steering uh, uh, towards new fluffy trends that don't have necessarily a strong value in the long term. So I always felt that there has been a great focus on, on providing uh, uh, important pieces of uh, tech infrastructure and a high focus on privacy and technology. And at the same time, make sure that everything could be actually used uh, in a regulated financial market, basically. Yeah, for sure. So I, I'm i really uh, passionate and, and motivated about learning uh, uh, cryptography and uh, as, as far as I can go, as uh, it's, it's uh, a very tough topic. And uh, uh, the reason I like Dusk is that it allows me to learn all these kind of um, complex topics. So like the fact that Dusk uses Splunk, it's, uh, it's great because it, it makes me uh, comfortable that everything that I learn about Dusk is something that is relevant for the world, uh, the way that the cryptography research is, is going forward. So it allows me to understand better about interactive oracle proofs commitment schemes and uh, and also like uh, signatures and and everything that has, has, has to do with zero knowledge technology and uh, and i think this is really relevant uh, as it's um, it's a, a topic that is uh, is basically shaping the the society we live in and uh, and also like the fact that it uses rust uh it's uh it's great because i think it's uh, uh an amazing uh, programming language which will become more and more popular and so i think that understanding deeply how dusk works and uh, uh allows to know about really relevant technology that uh, is not always the case as a, a, a lot of companies develop technology that may be deprecated very soon uh, because of the way that uh, at the speed uh, where everything develops. But uh, with Dusk, I, I feel comfortable that everything I learn is really relevant for 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 the whole cryptography and, and industry, the way it's going.